Hello guys, today we'll be talking about API resource and I will shoot a video explaining and expanding on a great tweet thread by Martin Yo. But first, before we do that, I want to thank everyone who came to me during Laracon EU and say hi and say thanks for my content. It was such a pleasure to meet a lot of you in person and I got a lot of feedback, a lot of new ideas, energy, so you will see a lot of new things on Laravel Daily in 2023. Also, I got a few things like gifts, not sure if you see there's Laracon EU t-shirt, and also there's a new toy, a new pet in my office, which is PHP Elephant by PHP Storm. So thanks, Raman, for the gift. It was a pleasure to meet you as well. So a lot of things to come in 2023. But the topic of today is when loaded. How can it help us avoid n plus one queries, too many queries to the database? And I've recreated the same example and we will measure how many queries are actually executed. So the example is this post with comments, it has many relationship, and there are two resources, API resources, post resource collection, which returns ID and title of the post and also returns the comments. So has many relation, which also returns the collection. And this when loaded, when it is needed. Comment resource is also simple, nothing really fancy. So just name of the person and comment text. And if we try to execute that in Postman, so we send the request and the result is ID of the post and the array of comments. So nothing really too complicated. The problem is, or potential problem is, what if that API resource which we created would be used in the future by someone else or ourselves and that someone else may forget to eager load the comments. So let's take a look what happens without when loaded. So we have just collection from the comments relationship. Of course, it should be this comments like this. And then instead of this, in the controller, we have just post all. And let's see how many database queries or in fact, which queries are executed. For that, I will use a tool called Ray by Spati. It's not a free tool, but I'm not affiliated with that. I just use it myself for personal debugging, which is a local kind of window to show something like DD or queries. So after I execute the postman again, we send. The result is absolutely the same. So nothing changed in the result, but the queries we have select from posts, and then for each of the posts, we have select from comments for post ID one, for post ID two, post ID three and others, which is a classical N plus one query violation, which would hurt your performance. Now, of course you would do eager loading, as I said, and it can be avoided by doing post with comments get. And now if we execute the same request, the result again is the same, but the result in Ray is just two queries, which is exactly what we want, eager loading. Now, this is where we get back to when loaded. If we do when loaded, so I go back, 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 undo, 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 this when loaded, it will actually check whether the comments was loaded. So if someone does post all and in the collection has comments when loaded, in other words, it means if the comment is loaded as a relationship, eager loaded, then we should load the comments. Otherwise, we don't need the comments. So now, if we launch the same request, the result is this, just the posts without the comments. In other words, controller then specify, does it need the comments or not? And the rule for that is inside of API resource. It's mostly useful when API resources are potentially to be used by other developers in other controllers or the situations where you don't fully control in the future. It's similar in a way to GraphQL and have a separate course about GraphQL if you want to check that out. Basically, the client specifies what they need, what data, in which order, what fields and stuff like that. So the logic is pretty similar. And again, this video was inspired by a tweet by Martin Yo, so I want to mention that again and I will link the whole thread in the description below. He tweets about common mistakes, mistakes in Laravel, which is a free PDF book you can download. And also Martin is generally active on Twitter with Laravel tips. So follow him, download his books, buy his courses, and also subscribe to my channel as well and join, I think it's 115,000 subscribers at the moment. So join them if you haven't already, subscribe and see you guys in other videos.